What's up guys, welcome to your 71st Android tutorial for the new Boston. And in this tutorial we're basically going to refine um, kind of what we've done and also get kind of the des desired result like I showed you with the on touch method. So the first thing I want you guys to do is go into the My Bring Back Surface class and change our is running um, right when it's uh, started here to false. Because again, um, you know, our thread is going to go through this on resume method before it actually starts our thread, and that's where we're actually going to change, you know, our uh, is running to true. So, not too big of a deal there. But uh, then we go into our surface class. And what we're going to do is we're going to implement uh, the on touch listener. So we're going to say implements on touch listener, just like we did with on click listener. Uh, the difference between on touch listener and on click listener is uh, basically um, we can attach this to a view just like the on touch or on the click listener but this has a touch down right when you touch the screen or touch whatever object you set this on click listener to um, right then is down and then there's a move when your finger is like pressed down and moving around on the screen and also when you release or when you let off of uh, of your touch there so we can kind of find those three events as well um, and then what we have to do is just say add implement methods and there we go here we have everything set up for the most part the only other thing we want to do is we want to set you know something to be looking for a touch method right here and what we're going to have do that well our surface view because our surface view is going to take up the whole screen or it's the whole canvas so we want our touch event to be accessible by the whole canvas for the most part so all we're going to say is our surface um, view dot set on click list or on touch listener just like when we did with on click listener um, and then we just say this because again we're implementing the on touch now what we can do is we're basically going to touch screen and we're going to get the x and the y value of of that information and process it and kind of handle it as well so what I did is I set up a float um, and you want a float value of an x and a float value of a y and then that's what we're going to kind of define now we're also going to set up this x and y to equal something initially so x equals zero and y also will equal zero and then we're going to change it within our touch our on touch method. So we go into within this, uh, you know, this method because when our surface is touched, uh, it's going to call this method and it's going to give us which view was touched, which is our, you know, our whole surface, and then which event, whether it be a down, a move around, or, you know, a release of some sort. We're just going to set our x and y values. So we're going to say x equals, and uh, we're going to say event. Um, Wait, is it event? Um, yeah, event, I'm sorry. Or whatever your second argument is, which is your uh, motion event. We're going to say, um, and as you can see here, it's labeled event. So we're going to say event dot, and then we, uh, we go get x, which is a really nice method because it's going to return the x uh, in pixels for the most part, um, the x value of what was pressed or where is pressed on the screen and then also we just say uh, you know y is equal to event dot get y and uh, there we go we have our x and y values every time the the screen is touched and it does that through grabbing the event and getting the value for the x and then we set it up to you know this variable so that's probably it for this tutorial pretty quick it's still not doing anything yet uh, the next next tutorial we're going to piece everything together and get our application working. So make sure you watch that and I'll catch you guys then. Peace.